Guys, if you're a fan of junk and financial irresponsibility, I promise you, you're in the right place. Some of you guys may have already seen my Dodge Demon project. It's trash, but it's special trash. It's gonna be the world's first manual Dodge Demon, and when it's done, it's gonna be like nothing you've ever seen before. But from a financial standpoint, this is an unbelievably stupid purchase. I paid 20 grand for it. Realistically, there may be $10,000 worth of parts in this car. I'll have another 50 grand easy in the rebuild, but that's how it goes with cars. I'm building it because I enjoy it, so it doesn't have to make sense. Now for as bad of a buy as this Demon was, this Hellcat Red Eye over here is the complete opposite. I paid two grand for this thing and it's easily worth 10. I originally bought this car planning to cut it up to use it for parts to fix the demon, but the minute I saw it, I knew I couldn't do it. I have an absolutely wild idea that's ultimately gonna make this car the perfect companion for the demon. Now, if this is all sounding too good to be true, it may make a little more sense when you realize this Red Eye is missing a few key pieces. Like the drivetrain. Sitting in the spot where there should be that legendary red eye engine is instead a 5.7 liter V8 out of an old Dodge Magnum. It's still a nice modern V8, but I simply have no use for it, which is why I'm giving it away to one of you guys. There she is, check her out. I gotta say it's missing a couple parts. I noticed there's no drive shaft. It does look like there's a differential, which is not the proper differential for this car either. That's in way better shape than the one that came out of that last Hellcat we did and the one that was in the Demon, to be honest. Underneath, it's pretty much exactly what we were told. It's a 5.7 out of a Magnum. It's an automatic. The shifter cable's not even connected. It's just flopping around under here. That right there, I... I don't know what happened exactly. It's a little gouge, but that's not super structural. That's perfectly fine. Ultimately, when it comes time to tackle the project that I wanna do with this car, I don't know how much of this suspension we're gonna to get to use. Just like the engine and transmission, it's all out of that 05 Magnum. In fact, in the last Demon video, quite a few of you guys pointed out in the comments that there's no way this could possibly be a red eye because it doesn't have the Brembos. This is indeed a true red eye. The VIN, the title, it's all red eye. The person I bought it from needed the drivetrain. He needed some of the interior, like the seats for a project he was taking on. Supposedly, this is how it sat ever since, and that's when we bought it. Most of the suspension on this car is simply not in good shape. You see the tie rod ends there are all junky. The bushings, they're just pretty nasty overall. I'm not going to worry about replacing any of those. I'm not going to worry about fixing anything until I know exactly what I'm going to need to use. One thing I'm absolutely positive that I'm not going to be using are these tiny little brakes. That's why every time we get a car in here that has, say, a set of six piston Brembos or Hellcat suspension, I've been yanking them off and stashing them to the side. On the topic of yanking stuff out, it looks like the previous owner has made this really, really easy on us. It's open header. The steering shaft is not connected. There's not even a steering column in it. It genuinely looks like there is nothing here connecting this. I still don't know exactly why he put this engine in here, but I'm happily going to take it, and I hope one of you guys will put it to good use. The, he did take the brake booster. In fact, the brake master and lines are just sitting in there. I have no clue if this is Magnum stuff or Red Eye stuff. I think we can just rip it right out. Like the old school? Old school, baby. Let's do it. This is, uh, I guess, what you would call nostalgia. This reminds me of doing it like this in my, you know, parents' backyard when I was 17 years old. Now, I am pretty positive that this person did not have open headers for the same reason that I like open headers, but I'm going to put out a stipulation for the whole giveaway. Whoever ultimately takes this thing home, you got to crank it up the first time with open headers. The only concern about this is, like, this mount is going to pass there. Oh, we're going to take that off. We'll be good. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was significantly less sketchy than the demon. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, come on, man. You just broke my windshield. You... Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, up. It's hitting this front bumper. Up, oh, not anymore. One second here. <laughs> up and out, baby. Up and out. All right, back. Hold on. What is that? All right. You mean to tell me 
There is one power steering line in here that's actually connected. You've got to be kidding me. They got us. They got us, Fernando, one, one line. That, and it does look like some of this burnt chassis harness, at least on one end, got wrapped around the engine. Exactly like I planned it. Also, a solid bit of information for anybody looking. You actually do not need to remove that transmission mount down there. You can leave it on and it slips through fine. I do, however, recommend checking for any power steering lines. Possibly entirely due to circumstance, but I think far and away that was the easiest engine removal we've ever had at this place. Easy. I wish all of them were like this. Yeah, don't count on it, buddy. I do like that the shifter cable was not connected in any manner whatsoever. We'll go ahead and give that away with the engine, of course. I gotta say I'm really pleased with the condition of this car. We're gonna look over this further in a little bit. The only thing I'm a little bit upset about is what you just did to my windshield, man. Um, I don't see nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to see if I can get away with everything else being as easy as that engine dropout was. We're going to see if we can pull these axles in the diff without taking the wheels off. That's definitely Magnum. This is not Hellcat stuff. Look at the engine mount bolts. These are definitely 2005 Dodge. We got our answer quick. The first differential bolt we tried to get out, the ratchet doesn't have enough clearance between the subframe and this guy right here. In fact, it's completely stuck in there now, so we are going to have to drop the rear subframe down. That was quick. What's the guess? Does it come down unimpeded or not, Fernando? Um, yes. I will say yes. <laughs> Almost got me there. There is absolutely no chance whatsoever that was coming out with it in the car. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Pure ingenuity. <laughs> Not the way I intended to do it, but there we are. That's what somebody's getting with their beautiful 5.7 engine and trans. Some fuel in it, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is 100% not modern stuff. This is definitely Magnum stuff as well. I still don't understand exactly why the guy threw all this stuff up in here, but I guess it's free parts, so I'm not going to complain. There we have it. If I told you this was fun sticking this rear subframe back in here with the wheels on it, I'd be lying to you, so I'm not gonna do that. But guys, look at this chassis. It's absolutely beautiful. 100% not what I expected from a fire car and way better than the Demon. Not only is it clean underneath, but you're gonna be amazed at how light this burn damage is. Though I do suppose when you're comparing another burn car to an absolute piece of trash like the Demon, nothing's really that bad. The frame rail over here on the driver's side doesn't look like it got any damage whatsoever. The passenger side, it has some stuff dripped down on it, but it's nothing bad. I don't think the rail actually saw any heat. Pretty much all the damage is isolated to this fender, this strut tower right here, even though that doesn't really look that bad. This little apron section here, and maybe the firewall. Don't ask me how, but even the interior, it's just really nice. And this is the interior that was in the car when it caught on fire. The dash has some non-related damage, but it still looks great. It actually smells like a brand new car. It really does. It's insane. 
the leather, the stitching on the center console, it all looks brand new. We have our carbon pattern shifter bezel there. We even have our red eye gauge cluster. As much as I was hoping that this red eye was the golden ticket to get the demon back on the road, I can't say I'm too upset about having an awesome new project. Now, in exchange for going down in the comments and telling me what you think I should swap into this thing, and before we give away that 5.7 drivetrain, I'm gonna hit you guys with just one more giveaway. Just like I planned it once again. When I was doing the giveaways on the Demon, I had so many of you guys ask for the Demon logo. Can't give you that. Need it for the car. Sorry. This guy here, we need to replace this fender. It's pretty much the worst part of the car other than the front bumper that's completely melted. So I figured why not? The response to this drivetrain giveaway was absolutely incredible. Now for obvious reasons, I did limit it to people who could come pick it up. So I figured it was only fair that we run another giveaway in this video that everybody in the States can enter. All you gotta do to win this dope kitty cat is go down in the comments and tell me what you think I should do with this red eye chassis. Convenient to carry, not the best to put on a pallet. That'll do. Whoever wins this, bring a pickup truck, please. The number of you guys who wanted this drivetrain was, I, I truly don't even know what to say. It was absolutely insane. There was something like 2,000 comments. I didn't expect this old engine to get that much interest. And in the end, it felt like I was kind of letting a lot of people down. So I felt the only fair way to do it was randomly. So in the end, after a ton of data entry, Mr. At Garage Built 7979, congrats on your new drivetrain. It says he's putting it into a 1968 Dodge Dart roller. Sounds like a pretty cool swap to me. I'd love to follow it, so make sure you tag us in pictures, all that good stuff. Now with that said, I have not spoken to this person. They will be learning about it the same time all of you guys are. So if they aren't able to come get this and say, what do you think's fair, Fernando? Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. I suppose at that point, we'll pick somebody else off the list. One more time, I want to thank every single one of you for the support you showed on this drivetrain giveaway. And if you couldn't enter because of where you live, don't worry, we're going to keep them coming. And now that we have all that out of the way, I suppose it's about time to dispose of this red eye. Not dispose of it, but take it back to the other unit, stick the demon on the lift, and get cracking on this on the main channel. <laughs>